Um, Mr. Swalwell uh, is recognized for five minutes. In the department of you can't make this up, the chairman of the whole committee is approaching 700 days being out of compliance of a subpoena that was issued to him. He was a witness to one of the greatest crimes that has ever occurred in America, the attack on the Capitol on January 6, spoke to the president uh, at the time multiple times, was asked by a bipartisan committee investigating that crime, uh, where hundreds of people have pleaded guilty, not were found guilty on their own, pleaded guilty. Uh, others were found guilty. The chairman was asked to cooperate and tell the bipartisan investigators what he knew, and we're approaching 700 days in where he refuses to do that. So the fact that you are here, you are doing more than the chairman of the whole committee is willing to do. You're willing to answer questions and engage uh, in a helpful dialogue. Would you agree, uh, Secretary uh, Buteau, that if the Republican majority would just prioritize for you what they needed, that that would be more helpful than just sending scattershot subpoena requests? Um, thank you, Ranking Member Swallow. I think it would, it is always helpful when we are able to triage and prioritize requests, um, particularly when in a, uh, an individual letter may request 10 different things that may live in 10 different places within the department. Um, they do tend to start piling up. And uh, Secretary Agoran, would you agree? It is more helpful when you prioritize rather than hit send with a scattershot list of requests? Ranking Member Swalwell, it is always helpful to understand the priorities of the committee. It is also helpful for us to be able to share back expectation setting based on those priorities. And, and I, I know you're trying to do that. I'm just gonna go out on a limb here. I think they may be trying to draw the foul. I think the approach here is to over request, to overkill on their search for documents and put you in an impossible position where you can't comply and they're unwilling to prioritize what they want and then they bring you here and again, now it's the foul. You can't keep up with the overwhelming uh, request of nonsense that's coming from them and they won't prioritize and then they want to try and dirty up the administration and say, well, they're not complying, they have something to hide. But actually, Secretary Buto, from the requests that you've received, is it true 87 letters have come from just this committee? Rick Member Swallow, that's correct. And in response to those letters, the Department of Homeland Security has participated in 10 transcribed interviews, is that right? Yes, sir. And there are two additional interviews scheduled for the future, is that right? That's correct. And can you confirm that the records for individuals on the terrorist screening data set have been made available to this committee's staff for nearly 300 cases? We have done um, in-camera review and briefings on that subject matter, and I know that this is an ongoing conver conversation, but I believe that number is accurate. And Secretary Igorin, despite the majority's unwillingness to prioritize what they want. Is it true that you've provided the committee with more than 12,000 pages of documents in response to their requests? Congressman, we have provided 1,400 pages in production as well as an additional almost 4,000 pages of in-camera review. I would also like to em emphasize in your terms of prioritization, the other thing is we have received inquiries from 17 different committees, both in the House and Senate. So when we talk about prioritization, it's prioritizing for this committee, but it's also understanding the larger context of oversight within the 118th Congress. Thank you, yield back. 